Let's learn irregular verbs with the Titanic. In this lesson, we'll start by doing a listen and read exercise. The story is, of course, the Titanic. Then we'll do a review of the 10 irregular verbs you heard in the story. In part three, we'll do an exercise. You'll need to fill in the blank with the correct past tense form of the verb. Last but not least, we'll listen again. This will be helpful for retention of new vocab. Let's begin. In the spring of 1912, the Titanic, a majestic ship, set sail from Southampton, England, heading towards New York City. Passengers who rode the ship were amazed by its grandeur. The Titanic was known for its extravagant amenities, including grand staircases, ornate dining rooms, a gymnasium, a swimming pool, and lavish first-class accommodations. Lavish just means fancy. However, the magnificent voyage lasted only until the fateful night of April 14, 1912, when tragedy struck. The Titanic had been sailing smoothly through the icy, calm water when suddenly it hit a colossal iceberg. Colossal means massive or huge. As icy sea water poured into the lower levels of the ship, a wave of panic spread among the passengers. Over the next few hours, many came to the realization that the ship would sink. Amidst the chaos, passengers desperately sought refuge in the limited number of lifeboats. In spite of the ship's size, there were only enough lifeboats for about half of the passengers. Those who couldn't secure a place jumped into the chilly ocean water, some with life vests, some without. They swam in place until most of them froze to death. The unsinkable Titanic sank less than three hours after it collided with the iceberg, killing 1,500 passengers and crew members. The sinking of the Titanic prompted immediate changes in maritime safety regulations. It's a tragic reminder of how fragile humans are against the unpredictable nature of the ocean. So what were the 10 irregular verbs? Did you catch them? Let's go through them one by one. The first one is to set. In the past tense, it doesn't change it remains set. In the spring of 1912, the Titanic, a majestic ship, set sail from Southampton, England, heading towards New York City. To set sail means to start a voyage on water. Ships set sail, boats set sail, when they're headed a certain direction, when they start moving. Let me give you two more examples. She set the table for dinner last night. He set his watch on his dresser before bed. The second one was to ride. In the past tense, it's rode. Passengers who rode the ship were amazed by its grandeur. He rode his bike to school every day when he was younger. I rode my bike to work this morning. Number three. To strike, in the past, is struck. The magnificent voyage lasted only until the fateful night of April 14, 1912, when tragedy struck. The thunderstorm struck the town with intense lightning. It struck me as strange that he dyed his hair bright green. Kind of a weird example. <laughs> Number four. To hit. To hit, in the past, is hit. The Titanic had been sailing smoothly through the icy, calm water when suddenly it hit a colossal iceberg. She hit the center of the target with her arrow. I accidentally hit the woman with my purse yesterday. Number five. To spread, in the past tense, is spread. 
as icy sea water poured into the lower levels of the ship, a wave of panic spread among the passengers. For lunch, I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I spread peanut butter and jelly on the bread. Sickness spread so quickly in the preschool classroom. Number six. To come in the past is came. Over the next few hours, many came to the realization that the ship would sink. The students were very smart. English came to them easily. My friends came to my house last night for drinks. Number seven. To seek in the past is sought. Right? To seek means to look for. It's very common to use seek also with refuge. It means to find a secure or safe spot. Amidst the chaos, passengers desperately sought refuge in the limited number of lifeboats. They sought refuge from the storm in a nearby shelter. After their English teacher resigned, the students sought out a new teacher or searched for a new teacher. Number eight. To swim in the past is swam. Those who couldn't secure a place jumped into the chilly ocean water, some with life vests, some without. They swam in place until most of them froze to death. To swim in place means to move one's arms and legs to remain afloat, but not necessarily to travel to another location. You remain in the same spot while staying afloat. Let's do two more examples. We swam in the lake until sunset. I swam in a pool yesterday. Number nine, to freeze in the past is froze. They swam in place until most of them froze to death. I put water in the freezer and it froze. The cold weather froze the lake solid. Number 10. To sink in the past is sank. The unsinkable Titanic sank less than three hours after it collided with the iceberg. The coins we threw sank to the bottom of the fountain. The old ship sank to the bottom of the ocean. All right, let's go ahead and do the quiz. Fill in the blank with the correct past tense form. Number one. Yesterday, the sun mm, at 7.30 p.m. What is the past tense conjugation of to set? Set. Same. Yesterday, the sun set at 7.30 p.m. Number two, the girl, mm, her horse, threw a field of flowers. What's the past tense of to ride? Do you remember? Rode. The girl rode her horse through a field of flowers. Number three, lightning, mm, the old oak tree during the thunderstorm. What is the past tense of to strike? Struck. Lightning struck the old oak tree during the thunderstorm. Number four. Michael Phelps and his team mm, all day. What's the past tense of to swim? Swam. Michael Phelps and his team swam all day. Number five, the ship slowly mm, beneath the waves, disappearing from view. What's the past tense of to sink? Sank. The ship slowly sank beneath the waves, disappearing from view. Number six, the hungry woman mm, butter on her toast before adding jam. What's the past tense of to spread? Spread. <laughs> the hungry woman 
spread butter on her toast before adding jam. Number seven. In yesterday's game, Tom mm, the baseball out of the park. What's the past tense of to hit? Hit. It remains the same. In yesterday's game, Tom hit the baseball out of the park. Number eight. The cold weather, mm, the pond, turning it into a sheet of ice. What's the past tense of to freeze? The cold weather froze the pond, turning it into a sheet of ice. Number nine. She mm, to the party late, but she still had a great time. What is the past tense of to come? Came. She came to the party late, but she still had a great time. Number 10. They mm, refuge from the storm in a nearby shelter. What's the past tense of to seek? Sought. S O U G H T. They sought refuge from the storm in a nearby shelter. Let's hear the story one last time. In the spring of 1912, the Titanic, a majestic ship, set sail from Southampton, England, heading towards New York City. Passengers who rode the ship were amazed by its grandeur. The Titanic was known for its extravagant amenities, including grand staircases, ornate dining rooms, a gymnasium, a swimming pool, and lavish first-class accommodations. Lavish just means fancy. However, the magnificent voyage lasted only until the fateful night of April 14, 1912, when tragedy struck. The Titanic had been sailing smoothly through the icy, calm water when suddenly it hit a colossal iceberg. Colossal means massive or huge. As icy sea water poured into the lower levels of the ship, a wave of panic spread among the passengers. Over the next few hours, many came to the realization that the ship would sink. Amidst the chaos, passengers desperately sought refuge in the limited number of lifeboats. In spite of the ship's size, there were only enough lifeboats for about half of the passengers. Those who couldn't secure a place jumped into the chilly ocean water, some with life vests, some without. They swam